This is the main screen of Expedator. Although the Sable Antelope, after which Sable Systems was named, is quite pretty to look at, you probably want to do more practical things with the program. To do so, simply click on the File menu, and then click on Open. And this will give you quick access to the typical data file. After the file is loaded, you can see the first channel on the graphics screen. So let's load, and there is our first channel. Notice that when I move the cursor over the graphics area, you see the sample number at the cursor's position in the little box labeled Cursor Info. You also see the value of the data in the graphed channel, which is also known as the active channel, and the length of time into the recording. Obviously, you will often want to know more than that, such as the exact date and time at the cursor. To find that out, simply hold down the control key while you move the mouse cursor. As you can see, the exact time and date at which the cursor is positioned will be shown. This little yellow box over here gives you some additional information. It tells you that there are just over 500,000 individual samples in this recording and that the samples were recorded once every second, giving you a total in this recording of 139 hours of second-by-second -second information. It also shows you that there are a large number of individual channels, 114 in this case, each of which corresponds to a separate data source. All are recorded at a one-second interval. The one on screen right now is the output of the oxygen analyzer, which changes as the water vapor pressure in the air changes. We can look at any screen in much more detail. To do so, simply use the mouse wheel, and you can zoom in and examine a recording in as much detail as you wish. For example, here we can see that the oxygen analyzer has been switched to baseline or in current levels, and then back to cage 1, 2, 3, and 4, back to in current for calibration, and then to cage 5, 6, 7, and 8. This means that the oxygen analyzer, for example, is recalibrated literally hundreds or even thousands of times during the course of a normal recording, and drift is eliminated. Now, let's see how we can change the channel that is viewed. The channel that is visible in the graphic window is called the active channel. We can change that active channel by clicking on the View menu and choosing Active. A menu of Channel Options then will come into view. And let's just choose the output of the CO2 analyzer. And here you can see it's a nice inverse of the data from the oxygen analyzer. By the way, the switching from cage to cage or from baseline to cage can take place in as little as 15 seconds, which gives a Prometheon multiplex system of any size a cycle time that can be as low as two minutes. The next lesson is going to take you through the basic playing back of a data analysis macro, which will take the raw data present in this file and in a traceable way will create the final data that you need.